Well, good evening, Mr. Kowalong Chuck. Wow, that's Kowalchuk. You know that. Just ask your mom. Speaking of which, uh, your mother's birthday's coming up. Cookum wants you to call her about the surprise party. Don't do that, call her Cookum. It's too weird hearing a white man speak Korean. Since when is saying one word speaking a whole language? Besides which, uh, can't be any weirder than hearing a Cree speak English. Or as we say in the Ukrainian community, touche, Chuck. Dork. Hey, Mick, there's your dad. What? He's not my dad. Well, sure he is. You can see the resemblance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the apple sure didn't fall far from the tree. First of all, never call a native an apple. Secondly, shut up. You guys want to go shoot some pool or what? Ooh, somebody's touchy. Hey, why don't you just go ask your dad to join us? I mean, this could be an excellent bonding experience. <laughs> hey, Gary, not bad. Keep trying. The next one might actually be funny. Oh, come on, Mick, we're just kidding. <laughs> Mick. I know where it is, right where it was when Taz took it. <sighs> Hello, roadside assistance? Yes, I I have a flat tire. Well, if I did, I wouldn't be calling you, would I? It has to do with a guy named Taz. I, I, listen, I'm at the college parking lot J, about six spots from the entrance. It's a gray Chevy one ton. I'll be, two hours? Yes, I'll be here. And you have my number. Thank you. <sighs> Roadside assistance? Yeah, I did just call, yes, but I, no. I'd like to know, where's the nearest bar? Thank you. how quickly I get rid of him. Hey, not so fast. Let's have some fun. Ask him if he wants to shoot a game of eight ball. Trying to be funny here? No, seriously. Let's take him for some money. We'll play teams, you and him against me and David. You just play a little soft. He won't know what hit him. Then we'll split the money. Come on, Mick, it'll be fun. I know I'm gonna regret this. It's been a long time since I played, but I guess it'll kind of come back to me. This is David, and that's Gary. Hank. Hey. Hank Kowalchuk. Kowalchuk. Howdy, Hank. Glad you wanted to play. How about a simple game? And uh, maybe buck a ball to keep it interesting? Hey, I, I don't gamble, because I have kids. And people who gamble, they end up becoming people who lose their kids because they gamble. And they end up on Dr. Phil. Come on, Hank. It's just a friendly game. It'll be me and you. Hey, I won't tell children's services if they won't. Yeah. What the hey? Went in Rome, order pizza. Besides, I, I think Vicky's moving out next year. All right, Hank, you can break. You know, now I remember why I used to like this game, because it's a lot like plumbing. You know, it's all physics and angles. Angles and physics. Hey, guys. Can I get you anything? Due to circumstances beyond my control, I am gonna be here for dinner. So I'd like a double cheeseburger, lettuce, tomato, onions, and a side of Caesar salad. Hey, that sounds like you're regular, Mick. Uh, yeah. 
have the same. So, uh, Hank, you gonna break or what? Sound of thunder? <laughs> I didn't think that one would go. Seems I've done a bit of plumbing myself. What's that you said, boys? Uh, best three out of five? I think we've just been hustled. Hustled? No, I don't hustle. Never hustle. I'm a married man with kids. Only time I hustle is if circumstances really require it. Let's see, how much was that? I believe half of this belongs to you. I do believe you're right. That was fun, wasn't it, guys? Hello. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Well, gotta go, my ticket home has arrived. And I got the money to pay him now, too. Gentlemen, been a pleasure. Mick, uh, don't forget to call your cook huh? First thing in the morning, I promise. Now that I could afford to buy a present for Mom. Say, I, uh, I owe you for the... Hey, don't worry about it. It's all me. You sure? Yeah, I seem to have found myself with an unexpected windfall. Thanks. After all these years, Josie, your smile is still as sweet as a honeybee. <laughs> hey, boys, how about a quick game? I'll spot you the first two balls on the house. Shark alert. Dum, 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 dum. Nah, really, it's just a friendly offer. But uh, if you're interested and you have more money, I'll also bowl to play poker and lawn darts. But I'd have to handicap you there. It's before your time. Some people just can't take a joke. What you explain happened. I didn't even remember half the things I did back then, but I just want you to know that I'm sorry for everything that I've done. I know we've lost a lot of years between you and I, but please, I just want you I don't know what you're doing here, but just leave me alone. Mick, just let me have... Don't care. What was all that about? Jeez, Hank. What are you doing here? Well, I was going to my truck, and then I heard what I thought sounded like an argument, so I figured I'd hang around and uh, see if you needed backup. Backup? Hank, when was the last time you were in a fight? Last week. But your mom won that one. <laughs> I appreciate the thought, Hank. I was just a guy I used to know. Forget about him. I already have. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow night at Mom's surprise birthday party, then. Yeah, I'll be man in the barbecue. Double cheeseburgers, well done. Always. Oh, and, uh... I don't know if you're interested, but uh, getting in a case of beer. Oh, I like beer. Nah, uh, this is a special beer. It's German. Ice beer, wheat beer, Wolfenstein. Oh, man, I love Wolfenstein. You know Wolfenstein? Yeah. All right, then. I'll see you there. For sure.
thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Picking up where we last left off, huh? What the hell are you doing here? I just want to talk to, uh... I don't care what you just want! Just calm down! Remember, I work here! What's happening here? Look who's back. Yeah, I know. I saw him skulking in the parking lot last night. You did? Mark, you're a terrible skulker. Tell him to get lost. I'll tell him what I want to tell him. Why don't you go wait by the car? I'll be there in a second. I said go! He's kind of hot-headed, ain't he? He takes after his father. So, when they let you out of jail? After I joined the priesthood. <laughs> Mark, what are you doing here? It's been so long. Oh, I thought it was time. It's hard to have a smooth future with a bumpy past. Yeah, Mick told me you guys didn't exactly see eye to eye when he went down South Dakota last year. Does he really hate me? At the moment. Well, it's good to see you again, Josie. I wasn't too sure how you'd react when you saw me again. I took some life insurance just in case. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't kill you. I'll leave that to Kate. Kate. I take it she's doing fine. Until she finds out you're back in town. Relax. Baby's down. Kids are doing their homework. Cookum and Kate are out buying stuff for your birthday party. They're having a birthday party? Yeah, it's a surprise party. Oh. That's a thought that counts. Mick's dad's in town. I just saw him. What's he want here? I don't know, something about ironing out some bumps. How do you feel about him being here? Well, do you remember when he told me about that old Mustang you had years ago? It was the love of your life, you said. And then you moved on. You ever wish you had it back? Well, the thing about that Mustang was, uh, it's a great car to look at, but under the hood it was always nothing but trouble. I rest my case. So then, uh, I guess I, Hank Kowalchuk, am your chosen vehicle for your drive down the road of love. You are my minivan of sweetness. And you are my passionate little half-ton pickup of happiness. Did you just call me a half-ton? With great rims. Hmm. Oh, Wes! Oh, this is amazing! This is awesome! What a nice surprise! That's it, Mom. Happy birthday. Oh, hi, hi, my son. Oh, is this for me? No, oh, I just love surprises! Yep, do with it what you want. Hey, Kate. Welcome hey. back. Hey, baby. Oh, it's good to be back. So, did you uh, tell her yet? Tell me what? Not yet. Oh, what's up? Ah, uh, oops, sorry. Hey, Hank, uh, where's that Wolfenstein beer you promised me? Yeah, you better bring some back here. I think we're gonna need a tranquilizer of some sort. Uh, Joe's, what's going on? Well, you know, I thought I'd tell you, you know, after, you know, the party's over, you know, after the backyard's been trashed. Joes, just tell me. What's up? Well, you see. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. I'm a friend yeah. of the family. I was in the neighborhood and. Right. <laughs> Josie and Kate. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Hey, kid, what's your name? 
Walt. Don't call me kid. Okay, Walt. Do you know CPR? Okay, now I don't want you to get crazy or anything, okay? Hi, Kate. Mark, what are you doing here? You know me, just wanted to jump from the frying pan into the fire. Kate? So funny. You always hated vegetables. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so that's your dad, huh? That's the famous Mark. This really did turn out to be a surprise party. You want me to get rid of him? No, we can always turn Kate loose again for that. <laughs> well, that's odd. No, you stay here and behave while I try and salvage some of this party. So, as I'm sure you all have guessed, this is Mark. He's an ex-boyfriend of mine and Kate's and Mick's father. So what do you want to do now? Open my presents. After all this? Especially after all this. And give me one of your beers. This one's from Mick. What could my oldest son possibly have got his poor overworked mother? Hmm. Looks like a day at the spa. Thank you, son. My pleasure, Mom. <laughs> this one's from Hank. Wow, interesting. And it's another day at the spa. Two whole days to be pampered and spoiled. I guess great minds do think alike. <laughs> this one's from Mark. Mark? Oh, Mark, you didn't have to get me anything. You never did before. Hey, it's your birthday party. Couldn't show up empty-handed. I don't remember these. The ones on the end were taken just after we moved to Fort Mac. The one of Mick was taken last year when he came to South Dakota. How old are you? I can't believe you still have these. It's wonderful.
this? The I Hate Mark Club? The I Want to Kill Mark Club. Lighten up, you three. The kids are enjoying him. I thought I told you to get rid of him. First of all, you don't tell your mother nothing. And secondly, why don't you give him a chance? That's the whole reason he's here, you know, for you. Whatever. I second that. Thirded. Devil came down Sunday, offered me a ride. 